guys, this is freaking big news about the Steam Deck because we're going to finally get transparent, fully transparent plates, front plates and back plates for the Steam Deck. How insane does this look? And we're going to get into it in this video, but first, please smash the like, hit the subscribe, and click the bell icon that way you're notified because I'm going to be comparing the Steam Deck with the ROG Ally and hopefully the iNeo 2S all in this month. So stay tuned when that goes live. Anyways, guys, I place 2K. Please subscribe. It really helps out, and I really want you guys to join our little community and get hyped up for handheld consoles together. Um, so please, please, please. Please click that subscribe button, please, 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 please. <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's go. So guys, this article comes courtesy of The Verge. A fully transparent Steam Deck could soon be yours with these new front plates. Steam Deck Outfitter JSOX also says more RGBs on the way. Oh, transparent plates and and RGB, oh, heaven. Um, so my new favorite, my new favorite Steam Deck mod um, is this thirty dollars see through heatsink back plate. I wrote a uh, back plate. I wrote in January. Wake me up when someone makes a transparent front shell. Some readers told me. Well, your nap is nearly over. G Socks just confirmed to Overkill WTF that a transparent front shell is on the way, providing the image you see atop of the story, which we're using with Overkill's blessing at extreme rate. Tweeted this earlier today, introducing the first ever full housing shell for the Steam Deck. Play different with more stunning color options. Let's take a look at this video here, shall we? Let's see. Oh, it's a GIF. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We need to watch that again. <gasps> what? Oh my God, Atomic Purple is an option. JSOX is the same company that made my backplate and carries all the manner of other bespoke Steam Deck accessories, including a recently released magnetic cooler that snaps into its onto its transparent backplates while illuminating them with RGB LEDs. Meanwhile, Extreme Rate made its name selling a lot of replacement shell kits. I recently enjoyed swapping my Joy-Con shells for their transparent emerald ones, green ones, mostly because it was a past time to my replace my favorite Nintendo, my, my drifting Nintendo joysticks with Gully Kit Hall effect sensor alternatives. And here they are there. Pretty cool. But yeah, but we don't know um, what either Steam Deck front shell will cost just yet, but JSOX tells us its version will arrive in July in crystal, brown, and purple. Brown? Mm. Uh, I guess they did make a brown one of their backplate, so I guess they want to match it with that. And it comes with an entire tray full of tools and spaces to slot loose Steam Deck parts while you dissect your handheld. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be a hell, a hell of a challenge, guys. Um, to put together, but it looks like GSOX has actually like made your little um, a little plate here to put all the components in, so you don't get you don't get lost in a bunch of like markers and guides and stuff like that. That's really nice of them. Very cool. Please know that Valve would frown on such an undertaking, and even iFixit warns that it's not for the faint of heart. A front shell replacement involves almost a complete disassembly, including removing the display. Um, it's not anywhere near the same level of difficulty as an easy fan or an SSD joystick or joystick replacement, which involves just a, thim a thimbleful of screws and a little prying after you remove your SD card. Don't forget to remove your SD card, because you will, you will end up snapping it in half. Believe me, I've seen it happen to many people, and I almost did it to my, my own Steam Deck when I upgraded the SSD inside. Um, now, the writer says I probably won't do this mod myself, honestly, unless it ships with a foolproof way to remove the display. I'm still super, super happy with my backplate, though, which comes in many more colors than it did before. So there we go. And the Reddit post where JSOX teases the new transparent front shell, the company also says it's got more RGB mods in the way, on the way, in case you're still worried about DIYing some RGB after the early failure of RGB deck. So there we go, guys. What do you think in the freaking comment? Will you be buying one and what color will you be getting? Anyways, guys, please like this video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, and also head over to our list of favorite Steam Deck accessories where you'll find just about everything you'd ever want for your Steam Deck and any handheld in particular, because this a lot of these things will work with any handheld gaming console, like the IDEO, like the ROG Ally. Um, so go check this list out, follow it, bookmark it, click the heart button, share it with friends, it's great for gift ideas, and go check out this mean lean two terabyte SSD for your Steam Deck. It's made by Sabrent, it's a US company, brand new in box, comes with a warranty, sold and shipped by Amazon Prime. So I would have bought this if I could have. 
I've got this SN740 that I got from AliExpress. I would have got this one. It's 225, which is actually $50 cheaper than I paid for my SN740 from China. So there we go, guys. Go check out that list. I'll put the link in the video description and top comment of this video. Thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe, click the bell icon because I will be doing a lot more handheld gaming content in the coming weeks and months. So please join me and come follow me as well on Twitter at least of KX. Link in the description as well. I'll be tweeting pictures as soon as I get my hands on these things. Anyways, guys, I love you. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.